When we talk about digital marketing, there's a big question on everyone's mind. How do you really reach those potential customers? Well, the answer is simple, search engine marketing. Under this, there are two main ways to do it, organic search and paid search. Now among these, which one is the right fit for your business? Let's find out. Hello everyone, I'm Ankita Patel, Proact Evangelist at Seller App and today I'm going to discuss organic search and paid search and how they can be used effectively to create successful digital marketing campaigns. Here's a quick overview of topics we are covering in this video. Before we begin, if you find this video helpful, click the like button below and subscribe to Sellwrap so you don't miss out on more exciting Amazon selling tutorials in the future. And don't forget to follow us on our social media channels. Let's get started. Organic search is basically those unpaid links you see on a search engine results page, the regular blue link results. When you type in question or a keyword, Google and other search engines use these algorithms to score the web and find the most relevant stuff related to what you have entered. The cool thing is, advertisers can't just pay Google or other search engines to get a better search ranking. No, success here depends on how good your listing or content is, how well it's written, structured and optimized for the search engines. So it's like a fair game for everyone. Now moving on to paid search, ever noticed those sponsored links that appear on the top of the SERP with a little ad label? Yeah, that's what we are talking about. It's called paid search. The most common model for this is pay-per-click, that is PPC. So basically, you bid on certain keywords and create targeted campaigns to show your products or services to potential customers. And here's the catch. Every time someone clicks on your ad, you pay a fee to the platform hosting it. Then the user gets directed to your page where they can explore what you're offering, contact sales or make a purchase. At times, competition for those sponsored links would be fierce, let me tell you. To decide which ads get promoted, advertising platforms consider Factors like bid value, how relevant the keywords are, the quality and the relevance of the ad itself, the quality of the landing page and the ad's historical click-through rate as well. With paid search, it's all about you get what you pay for. If your ad or campaign platforms well, you can increase your budget to get even better results up to a certain point of course. Here's an interesting stat for you. 68% of marketers believe that paid ads are important for the marketing strategy. Understanding these search strategies is crucial for business aiming to maximize their digital presence and reach their target audience effectively. So let's delve into the key differences between these two approaches and explore the pros and cons they offer to your businesses. Firstly, pros of organic search, low upfront costs. Unlike paid search, organic search requires low upfront cost in website setup and even hosting. Other than that, it demands your time and efforts in optimizing your website. Next is impressive ROI. Optimizing your site for organic search offers a high return on investment. Studies show that SEO is successful for almost 90% of marketers. Compounding benefits. Organic search delivers benefits that compound over time. By consistently creating valuable content, you can attract more traffic, leads, revenue, and even better rankings. Boosts credibility. Ranking high in organic search results increase your uh, credibility with the users. Organic listings are perceived as more trustworthy compared to the paid ads. Attracts relevant users. Organic search helps you reach interested users across various stages of business journey, allowing you to target a wide range or wide area of searches without the cost of paid search. Provides actionable data. Organic search offers valuable data on user behavior and content performance, enabling data-backed improvements to your strategy. 
This data can be obtained through various tools and platforms such as Google Analytics, Google Search Console. Supports other marketing channels. A connected approach to online marketing works well with organic search. You can repurpose the content for social media, email marketing and more, amplifying your brand message. Moving on to the cons of organic search. Requires routine upkeep. Organic search requires ongoing optimization to maintain high rankings, which can be challenging for the companies with limited resources. Takes time to deliver the results. Ranking in organic search results can take several months, making it less suitable for immediate results. Fights for real estate. Organic search results compete with various elements like featured snippets and local search packs making attractive traffic more challenging, requires SEO background and skill set. Success in organic search demands SEO expertise, which may be challenging for some companies lacking resources. Now let's look into the pros of paid search. Generates instant results. Paid search offers immediate results once your ads go live, driving leads, orders and even revenue right away. Provides keyword data for SEO. Keyword data from paid campaigns can inform your SEO strategy, helping you create content targeting high value keywords. Attracts ready to buy users. Paid search focuses on transactional intent, attracting users ready to make purchases, resulting in immediate results and revenue. Offers actionable data. Like organic search, paid search provides data to improve your ad strategy and even supports other marketing channels. Accommodates every budget. Paid search allows for uh, flexible ad spend, accommodating a range of budget to fit your advertising goals. Moving ahead is cons of paid search. Costs money upfront. Now paid search requires an advertising budget which may limit access for uh, businesses with constrained resources, demands constant maintenance. Paid search campaigns need regular monitoring and optimization, which can be time consuming, provides short term results. Now paid search uh, generates results as long as you invest in it, making businesses dependent on the continuous support. Requires PPC background and skill set. Effective paid search campaigns necessitate PPC expertise, which can be a barrier for companies without prior experience. All right, now that we have looked at the pros and cons of both search strategies, you might be wondering how do I decide between organic search and paid search? It's not really an either or or decision. Organic and paid search are complementary channels. And deciding which one's right for a given situation depends on several factors, including the industry, market, user intent, domain authority. First up is short term versus long term value. Paid search is like a fast ride. It delivers quick results, which is perfect for getting traffic right away. However, it's important to note that paid search is transactional. You have to keep investing to keep getting traffic. Once your paid campaign ends, you won't rank for those keywords anymore. Plus, in competitive markets, bidding wars can drive up the cost of paid traffic, making it less cost effective in the long run. That's why relying solely on paid only strategy might not be the best idea. On the other hand, organic search is more like a slow but steady burn. It takes time to climb up to the search rankings and see a return on investment. Some businesses might feel impatient and not willing to uh, wait that long. However, the beauty of organic search lies in its long term value. Once you create the high quality content that resonates with your audience, it can drive traffic and generate leads for years to come, often with little additional investment. But here's a crucial consideration. Even if you rank first organically, your content might not always appear above the fold on a search engine results page. Paid ads and other sub features are sometimes, uh, you know, pushing organic results down the page. So if you completely ignore the paid search, you could miss out on a significant source of traffic. To put in perspective, think of it this way. 
paid search is like renting a flat you get immediate access and results but you have to keep paying to stay there organic search on the other hand is like owning a house it takes time to build house but once you own it it can be a valuable asset that keeps giving back for the long term second is industry market and audience picture this there's a cool electronic gadgets company that specializes in cutting edge smart home devices but here's the catch they are operating in a fiercely competitive market they have got big players like apple and samsung hogging all the top spots in the digital space so trying to outrank those digital giants with paid search might be a real challenge imagine you are running an online pet store catering to a wide range of pet owners understanding the market size and competition is you know vital for shaping your search strategy with a plethora of pet products available online using paid search can be a valuable tactic to target the specific pet enthusiasts and gain that visibility however as a pet store competing with established retailers and other pet suppliers solely rel relying on paid search may not guarantee on a prominent position in the competitive market so to establish a strong online presence and build that trust with your audience you can harness the power of organic search by investing in organic search you can create valuable content such as pet care guides training tips and customer reviews this informative content not only educates uh, the pet owners but also positions your online store as a reliable and knowledgeable source for their pet needs pet owners often uh, conduct the thorough research before making purchasing decisions for their furry friends by providing valuable insights and the solutions through organic search you can resonate with the potential customers on a deeper level increasing the likelihood of pet owners choosing your store over the competitors in the fiercely competitive online pet industry a well balanced approach that you know combines the paid and organic search strategies can help your online pet store thrive attract more customers and build a loyal customer base next is keyword intent now keywords come in many shapes and sizes the intent behind them can help you determine which of or where someone is in the buyer's journey and how best you can serve their needs now there are various types of keywords out there but for this video we'll focus on the two most important ones first we have is the informational keywords these little gems are the heart and soul of organic search people use them in the early stages of their buyer's journey where they are trying to define a problem they are facing or seeking answers to specific questions you know stuff like best smartphones under $500 or what are the top rated budget smartphones these keywords are all about gathering the knowledgeable and uh, educating themselves now when it comes to paid search things take a bit of a different turn paid search tends to focus more on commercial keywords there are the ones uh, people use when they have already defined their problem and now actively looking for a solution so it's like they are saying hey i want to buy iphone 12 pro max show me where to get it see the difference in a nutshell when customers are in the early stages of their journey and seeking information organic search and informative content are your best buddies but when they have you know when they are ready to make a purchase and actively looking to buy that's where the paid search and commercial keywords step in so imagine you are selling these amazing high quality wireless buds they are so good that when people search for things like best wireless earbuds or noise cancelling earphones your product is already rocking the top spots and that's not just the luck it's because your customers love your earbuds and uh, have been spreading that, that particular word now here comes the interesting part since your product is already getting lots of love and visibility through the organic search running paid ads specifically for those exact keywords might not give you a huge extra boost 
your product is already doing great and organic search is driving plenty of traffic and sales for you. So in this case, you might want to be a bit smarter with your paid advertising efforts. Instead of focusing on keywords where you're already shining, why not explore other complementary keywords or try different advertising strategies? This way, you can target new customer segments or promote other products where you haven't achieved the same level of organic success. But of course, the name of the game here is getting a good return on your investment. If running a paid campaign can still give you a positive return on ad spend, then it's definitely worth considering. But here's a pro tip for your situation. It might be super beneficial to reinvent in organic search. Keep that awesome content coming. By consistently creating relevant and helpful content, you'll reinforce your position, boost your domain authority, which basically means you become more of an expert in your field and keep those organic rankings soaring. If you're just starting out, paid search can be a real lifesaver. It helps you get your brand out there, uh, build awareness and bring in more traffic while you work on building your organic content library. But remember, there's a caveat. If you are competing with giants like Amazon or Facebook, the cost per click for those popular keywords could be sky high. And in that case, running a paid campaign might not be the best move. It could, you know, eat up your budget without giving you the best results you want. Why limit yourself to just one when you can have the best of both the worlds? Let's talk about how you can make organic search and paid search work hand in hand to supercharge your online presence. Create retargeting ads. So someone visited your listing or website, maybe checked out, uh, you know, your cool products, but didn't hit that buy now button. No worries, with retargeting ads, you can actually bring those visitors back even after they have left your site. It's like a gentle nudge, reminding them about your awesome stuff and encouraging them to make that purchase they, are, uh, they were contemplating. Promote website content with social media ads. While you want your content to naturally climb the ranks in organic search, a little boost never hurts. Share your killer blog posts, guides, reports, or case studies on social media through the ads. Not only does it help to get your content in front of more eyes, but it can also lead to some backlinks that will give your search rankings a nice boost. Collect data from ads to improve your organic search strategy. PPC campaigns give you access to gold mine of data. You can see things like keyword search volumes, what your competitors are bidding on, which call to action are converting like crazy and so much more. Armed with this treasure trove of information, you can actually refine and enhance your organic search strategies with ease. Now, whether you choose to go with organic search and paid search ultimately depends on your business situation. Organic and paid search should work in tandem as part of your wider marketing strategy. Targeted paid campaigns are the best option if you want to raise your brand awareness when you're just starting out or you're looking forward for some quick wins. Organic search requires more patience, but by investing in relevant SEO optimized content, you lay the foundation for the long term success. If you need help weighing the paid search versus the organic search, you can always connect with our experienced strategists at support at sellwrap.com. And that's it for this video, everyone. Thanks for watching. Your support means a lot to us. It encourages us to bring out more helpful videos like this. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to Sellerapp. Let us know if you guys want us to create detailed seller guides on any specific topics. You can leave your suggestions in the comment section below and we'll definitely create them for you. And don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content. If you haven't already, click the bell icon so that you will never miss another video. And as always, happy selling!